Your father won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh, my boy. He hurt you so bad. Just rest and heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? Let me show you something, Billy. My father called me. If I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring. It has been with our family for eight generations. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. <laughs> Do not tell your father about the string. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia! Mother, am I acquitted? Was I righteous and just? Good enough to witness the awe of heaven? You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, no. Mother. I'm going to hell. Stay down, keep quiet, he's coming. Sophia, he in there? No. Sophia, out of my way. He does not deserve this, you know he does not. Don't bullshit me, I saw him with her. He's young, he likes her, he does not know better. He knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. I will not let you hurt my son, not anymore. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia, getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! <laughs> I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigger. Rip, we cannot live like this. I cook, I clean, I tend to the stables, to the field. You are not the only one struggling, Rip. You should have shut down the business when my father told you to. You are behind in everything. Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I married a man who would never let his family go hungry. So help me. I will not will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth, or I shut it for you. <laughs> what is it with you damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you, I figured your father'd be an asset. But you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away. <laughs> Make me sick to look at you. Get your ass over here! Now! You are so goddamn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I get you how to take it. Dinner time. Yeah. Yeah. 
Bessie. You good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a good girl. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you got to make hard decisions. And sometimes, you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. That's right. Now, shoot her. Shoot her! You are so feeble, just like your mother. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than this.